Hello everyone and welcome to my Autodesk Revit tutorial. In today's Autodesk Revit tutorial, I will show you how to create this type of rebar shape for your pad footing. So without further ado, let's get started. So let's select one side over here and click on this button over here with three dots. So this is the rebar browser. So right now I have the US rebar shapes over here. So we are currently using M02. We need to scroll down and select M17. And then select it. Press space bar until the rebar is like this. A U shape over here. Proceed to section 3. And let's move it up into the pad footing. Whoops. So we need to move it down into the pad footing over here. Like so. And if we select the rebar, it is exceeding the rebar cover limit over here. So we need to move it up. So let's select this point right here and drag it up. Now we were to see things in 3D, you can see that the rebar are clashing each other over here. So this is not correct. So let's select this rebar over here. And proceed to section 3 over here. And click on move over here. And select the bottom here and move it up. That is how you move the rebar by one diameter up. And now you can see they're not clashing anymore. So now let's focus on this rebar over here. That's going from left to right. So we can actually imitate the rebar on the left over here. Just by using the hook option over here. So if we proceed to the properties tab over here. Hook at start. And hook at end over here. They're currently set to none. So we set it to 90 degrees and 90 degrees over here. We can already imitate what is seen on the left over here. But now we need to adjust the height of this rebar cage. So now that we are in section 3, check on the override hook length option over here. And scroll down. Look for B over here and D change it to 300 millimeters over here and now our rebar cage is confined inside this pad footing over here so we were to check it in 3d you can see that the rebar cage is encased within the pad footing although we can actually increase the height so that it is at the top rebar cover over here. So let's try a value of 350 millimeters here, for example. So it's already almost at the top rebar cover. So let's try a value of 375 millimeters here. So it's pretty much at the rebar cover, slightly exceeding it. So we can just cut it to 370 over here and we should be just fine. Okay, so it's pretty close already, so I'll leave it at 370. And let's do the same thing over here for the rebar that's going into the screen over here. So change it to rebar shape 17 over here. Press space bar. Go to section 4. And let's adjust the rebar by using the move tool so move it up like so okay we need to move it up all the way here okay let us change the hook at start to 90 degrees and the hook at end to 90 degrees as well click on apply and then override hook lengths over here 
So key in 360 millimeters here. Okay. So let's view it in 3D. Okay, so we've already made the rebar cage similar to the one on the left over here. So we can actually adjust the length of this top part over here just by scrolling down over here and finding the E option over here. So if I were to change it to let's say 500 millimeters, it will extend the length of the top part of this rebar shape, for example. So let's say we need 500 for the top part. 500. And... Okay, as you can see, we have some clashing over here for the rebar for this pad footing. So proceed to section 4 and select one of the rebar and let us change the height slightly. Well, let's change this one instead. So instead of 360, let's put it at 350 and 350. Uh, still a bit of a clash. So let's put 340 instead and 340. Like so. And now in the 3D view, you can see that they're not clashing anymore. So that's the good news. So if you notice, there's no intersection of rebar over here for this section. So here's my way of fixing it. So we can reduce this to, let's say, 10. Or should I say about 6 over here. 6. Then we copy this and paste it over here. Then for the middle part, it'll be slightly different. So let me just show you how it is that I'd go about. So I'll just copy this out. Or in fact, I'll just mirror this. Like so. And now I will change the A value here to let's say 1 meter over here. And 1 meter. Whoops. Uh, okay, so we have an overlap. So let's reduce it to let's say 600 each. Okay, still not enough. So... Let's try 800 and 800 each. Almost there, so 850. Alright, that's pretty much close to touching over here. And we'll do the same over here. Okay, so we've already managed to create the rebar cage closed in a loop like this, over here at least. So now let's do the same thing for the middle section over here. So I'll just copy and paste some in somewhere here. So I'll just quickly dimension this over here. So it's 80, so I'll just move it to 100 over here. They're all spaced at 100. Okay, so let's multiply this out. Put in 12 over here. Like so. And this part here, we can do the same thing and do it in sections instead. So let's put in 4 over here. 6. And mirror this out. And I will copy this to the middle over here. And I will space it appropriately. That's 115, key in 100 over here. And the rest should be spaced at 100 as well. Okay, so we need to adjust this. Okay, now it should move appropriately uh, hold on just key in one first 
Then key in six. Hold on. We do this. It's one hundred. This is also one hundred. But this is not. Okay, that's that's a bit weird, so let me just troubleshoot that for a moment. Okay, so the solution is to select this middle part here and click on edit bars over here. And let's force this to be 100 millimeter spacing here for each one of them. It's a bit tedious, but that's the only solution that I found. If you have this issue, so do that and you should be good to go. Okay, so we are one millimeter off. That's not really a big deal, especially on site. Figure things out. So this part here, we can extend it over here so that it's touching. So let's try 1,000 millimeters and 1,000 over here. Okay, it's almost touching. So 1,200 should be in the right ballpark over here. Okay, it's a little much, so 1100 and 1100. Oh, very close, so 1150 it is then. 1150. Oops. Yeah, pretty much touching, so that's good enough. And we'll do the same over here 1150 and 1150. Uh, Another extra one. Okay, and we can extend this part out to let's say 500 and 500. And that's it for this tutorial. So we've already managed to create a rebar cage similar to the one over here. Just by using typical rebar shapes without drawing in any custom rebar shape. And that's it for today's Autodesk Revit tutorial on detailing pad footings. If you enjoyed this Revit tutorial, like this tutorial, share this tutorial, and subscribe for more Autodesk Revit tutorials like this. Thank you for watching. See you next time.